I found myself in Changi Airport in Singapore the other day and I went to a toy shop and I found a big display with all of these Gundam uh, toys in them. And then looking at these, these weren't that bad. Look, 11 and $8 each, Singapore dollars. So these are about £5 each for me when I bought them. I thought I'd devote a couple of videos to looking at these and maybe building them. So today I'm going to start with this G-frame. So this is a G-frame, which is the frame that go inside Gundams, I think. A few people have experimented with Modibots and uh, built other little armatures to go inside models. And when I saw this for the price it was, I thought, well, maybe I'll do this and build something on top of it. But today I'm just going to try it. Well, I'm just going to look at it and see what's inside it. And I might try and build it. So what's in the box? Oh, this is this horrible feeling you get like in Lego. I don't really want to destroy the box. But whether I want to keep it again for later, I don't know. Yeah, so I can't push that little open tab there. This is my first Gundam that I've ever bought, really. I've got no idea how big this is going to be. I mean, it must have a scale on it somewhere. Maybe it's in Japanese. I've looked for this on Amazon and I can't find it on uh, Amazon UK. I think Buster Beast found one. And it was about $30 for him to buy it. So this seemed like a bargain. Uh, but unfortunately, you have to already be in Singapore to buy it. Otherwise, it's not that much of a bargain if you're going to pay for the flights. All right. So they're quite small by the looks of it. Although maybe not. If that's its canoes, uh, they're quite big. So maybe it is about this size of, of on the box. Are there any instructions? Oh no, is there any QR code or anything? Oh, I wonder if that's it. QR code there maybe. Oh no, there they are. Guide PDF, haha. -ha. All right, so let's have a look at these. Oh, that's already, uh, that's already been put together. So that's useful. Yeah, so that's its torso, abdomen. A bit of its back maybe. Other bits, hands, yeah, it looks like hands. And I suppose these will be the bits of the arms and the bits of the legs. Probably one arm bit and one leg bit. All right, I'm going to go and scan this and see whether I can get hold of the manual. Okay, so G frame F4, that looks right. Instruction manual. Uh, it's RE09F. REO9F, so it's that one. Does it jump? Okay. Uh, it's not too bad. I can do this. Right. I start with B7 and B6. Get my lovely clippers. Alright, so these frames are the same. They're both B. So let's do B7 and B6. And B6 goes down there and do different types. It looks like it just does that. Clips in there like that. And then one of those goes into that bit. Right. Um, I think this is going to be unnecessarily fiddly and you're not going to want to hear me talk all the way through it because I'm just going to say about 100 times that bit goes there. So let's speed this up and put some music on, kick back, and I'll build this frame. All right, well, I don't think I need the instructions for the last bit, so let's just cut the hands out. 
obviously this is just a frame so there's lots of bits missing on it and most notably a head the heads aren't very big are they really so a3 and a4 i've got these mixed up but uh i thought they were the same but they're not so let's just pop their hands in that looks right thumbs at the top so most of this was the same apart from you have to turn this shoulder joint around for one side so still quite easy though so let's pop him in there the shoulder sticks out quite a lot but good we don't know what else might go on it so there's the i already built the legs with that the other way around so there's this frame RE09F G frame FA04. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, although there's some GNUs in there that I'm not going to use, but if you like that sort of thing, you can use them. But uh, the head, I've just noticed, we have a yellow head. So let's get him out and pop his little head on. There we go. So there is a frame. Now, Obviously, I didn't see how long that took me to uh, build it. It wasn't that long at all, really. That's quite a neat little frame. So uh, that, for me, is way cheaper than Muddybot. So about £5 for this. Muddybots are about £10, $10, plus about $20 shipping, something mad like that, to get them into the UK. But obviously, I'm not factoring in a flight through Singapore um, to get these cheap. But you never know. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. I don't know whether I might build up some arms and muscles on it with milliput, that sort of thing, like Mr. Mecca did. But yeah, so an idea by Bots to Beast about uh, having an articulate frame to build something on. And Terrain by Eren beat me to him doing a Gundam, although this is way simpler than his, uh, as was stated. But there you go. So I'll build this one uh, another time. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see me build another one, or maybe in the future I'll do a video and do something with this, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed me doing this, please like it as well. And share it with your friends. Smash that like button. That's so not me. All right. Hope you enjoyed this, folks. Thank you. Bye.